Good morning everyone. Uh, we're just downstairs in the skinning room here and we're just catching up on some uh, stuff this morning. Thought I'd just give you a quick tour of what's happening down here. Uh, we picked up those three coyotes that are hanging here uh, yesterday and uh, I don't know if they're going to be uh, ready to go tonight or not. We'll have to check them out later in the day. And I pulled out some stuff from I had in the freezer. I had a uh, one raccoon, one fox, a fisher, and a couple coyotes. I just uh, fleshed everything. I just have to uh, board the stuff, and I got that one fox from yesterday still thawing out. So yeah, he's still pretty solid. So we'll see what happens with him. Uh, when I pull stuff out of the freezer, or if, when I skin something, and I'm going to flesh it. I like to either hang it up in the porch if it's cold enough outside just to uh, get that fat to harden up or if it's too warm I'll uh, I'll just uh, flip that pelt uh, <coughs> fat side out and I'll put it in the freezer for I don't know 10-15 minutes just so it kind of hardens up or what have you so that's what I did and uh, after I flesh everything I like to uh, flip them over, just check for blood, and if there's any blood on, uh, there was some on, on the coyotes and the fox and that fisher I washed totally, so uh, I like to do that before I board them, because it just makes uh, taking the blood out her, her easier than when I uh, already have the stuff uh, drying, so. And, uh, yeah, I did up uh, that big raccoon there the other night, and uh, he turned out uh, really nice. He, I think he ends up being like a 4 or 5 XL. He's about 37 inches from nose to the skirt. And uh, yeah, so got uh, more stuff in the freezer, but I'm probably going to have to take care of um, these the stuff I've been catching. I uh, don't know if I'm going to go out today. I didn't get to everything yesterday, so I uh, will probably head out tomorrow and uh, check the remaining remaining part. It's supposed to be a little warmer tomorrow, so we'll get that underway. Got a few squirrels and ermine that uh, come along my way, and uh, so that's it. I uh, brought those rams, you know, or from uh, that had blood on them yesterday. I personally am a little finicky. I know some guys don't bother washing or cleaning if they got blood on them, but uh, I uh, just in the habit of bringing them in and washing them off, and then I'll just uh, rub some spruce boughs over them just to give them a little uh, natural smell or what have you. So that's it. Just kind of an update of what's going on down here. We'll uh, board all these animals that are fleshed and uh, got some other stuff to do today. So take care of this and then continue on for the day and uh, hopefully go tomorrow maybe pick something else up. Take care everybody. Good morning everyone. Uh, we're just out on a uh, snare check today. I've already been to Double Trouble bait site and had a couple of coyotes go through those uh, loops of the wolf rams and a couple of avoidances and now we're at Slip Corner bait site. It's uh, I usually have a, a minor bait site and a major bait site. This is more of a minor bait site but uh, looks like we picked up a coyote here this morning. Just a peek at him here. Looks pretty well furred. Kind of got tangled up here, trashed the site a bit. So he's trying to. He's on a rabbit trail here. I uh, found a spot where they were kind of cruising around, and uh, yeah, we picked him up. So he kind of jammed himself in here. So I'm gonna have to move this ram, and uh, we will carry on. Fence line bait site next. I'll keep you posted. Hey there everyone, uh, now we're at a uh, fence line bait I call it. I brought uh, three more rams here, I only had seven here so to me it's more of a major bait site so I'll uh, put three more in then I'll have ten here and uh, looks like we picked up a dog here if I can get off the quad. Yeah. See what he looks like. <coughs> Oh, 
but he's, uh, uh, he's stiff, so yeah, we'll uh, yank him out of here. I uh, have to set this a little further up the trail, I guess. Uh, actually, he didn't make too much of a mess here, so maybe I'll just reset it here. And uh, that'll be it for set those three other rams. I got uh, four more to check. This is my third snare, so looks like a young dog, but uh, fairly nicely furred. So we shall remove them and carry on. Hey there, once again, we're uh, still out uh, at another bait site here today. And this is uh, what I call a danger zone bait site. It's, uh, it's a place where I have four small baits in a small area here, so I try and uh, pick stuff up between uh, baits. And I've got a coyote here and a wolf master, and he absolutely smashed this, this site up here, as you can see. Wow, he a uh, pretty uh, long lead wound up the cable really good, and thinking he's expired, hopefully, so he's wrapped up in there. He's probably hip caught, I'm thinking. Wow, yeah, he, uh, no, he's got a little bit of a reddish belly here, but He's caught by the neck, but I don't know why. Just have to take a peek at him once I get him out of there, but... Anyway, another coyote today, but... Like I said, he totally... I've never seen a area ripped up this... This bad, so... I will definitely have to put this snare elsewhere, so... Alright, we'll talk to everyone later. Hi there again everyone, we're uh, still out uh, checking some snare sites, bait sites. This is, uh, I don't know if I've shown it to you before, but what I call uh, beaver dam bait site. I, um, this is a new bait site actually. I uh, just have a, a beaver house over here and an old beaver house there and just a water run coming through. And I was hoping that the coyotes would uh, come up off the ice into the bait site or uh, come back. I got uh, six wolf masters here. There was a wolf uh, come through here at least once that I saw. So, And it looks like we picked up a, a coyote uh, on one of the runs coming coming off the ice or coming up the... Uh... Not a lot of coyote sign here, but uh, we'll keep her going for a while. and. See what we can pick up. Oh yeah, it's a nice looking coyote. He's stiff of course, so not sure if I caught him going up or coming down, but uh got some uh yeah, got good fur on him, so coyote four for the day. I uh, think I'll reset this and uh, keep going. I cut a couple more baits to do and uh, I'll keep you guys posted. There, everyone. It's getting late in the day, but it uh, looks like we picked up a fox at uh, Smoky Burn uh, bait site here. And uh, got cut before the snow, I guess. So. There he is. A looking, looking guy, but oh, we'll take him. Looks like maybe a coyote uh, had come up the trail here to see what was going on, so we'll just reset this elsewhere. Fox number seven, I guess. Hi, right, everyone. Looks like uh, we picked up a small fisher in this uh, Martin set. Man, uh, totally got into that trap. So, yeah, frozen, so a well, fairly, fairly good color, but uh, actually this is a set where I uh, had caught a marten that I 
didn't show you. I had left the camera in the truck, but that's good. I uh, thought it was a dark marking, but we'll take the fisher. So we will continue on. And uh, I think I'm going to pull this set. It's uh, got me a fisher and a marten, so I uh, didn't uh, want to catch too, too many. I just kind of had some in a few places, whatever, and concentrate on the coyotes, I guess. So, yeah, nice looking Welford Fisher here. So, good December Prime. So, we'll talk to everyone later. Once again, looks like uh, we have a catch here. This is what I call a uh, Martin bait site. It's, uh, I call it that because I have one uh, Martin trap here and uh, I usually put some snares around here and uh, once when I was checking snares I come back to my bait bucket and there was a Martin eating bait out of my bucket so that uh, was kind of cool so anyway I uh, that's why I called this bait site it's uh, more of a minor site I think I only got four snares here so let's take a look at this uh, whatever it is hopefully it's in good shape Ah, looks like a fox. Boy, oh boy. Well, I guess you can't stop him from uh, getting in the snare, so. so. He's been here for a little while. Got some snow on him. Yeah, there he is, so. Well, I guess we'll yank him out, reset this, and uh, continue on checking the other snares. Really windy here today, as you can hear. Still at some uh, Martin bait site uh, here where I just uh, picked up that fox, and uh, two snares over looks like we got a coyote, which uh, is kind of nice. I uh, take a peek at him. We got no snow on him, so looks like a fairly Fairly fresh catch. Let's, uh, give him the old. Uh, uh, he probably lost night or whatever. So anyway, looks like a fairly decent coyote. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's he's decent. We'll definitely take him. So gonna have to uh, take the snare out of here. Got some blood and uh, what have you, so we'll uh, remove them. And I got one more snare up ahead, and I'll turn you on if we do catch something. There, everyone. We're just at the uh, next little uh, minor bait site <clears throat> I had set up a while ago. It's just uh, a minor one. I've called it uh, uh, dip <laughs> dip bait site. It's just. Uh, Kind of got some poplars, some willows, kind of a swampy area. But looks like we picked up a coyote before the snow, so let's take a little walk around and see what he looks like. Looks like a bigger dog. fresh as the last one I caught here, but oh, might have a little mites here happening, but I'll have to take a look at them. So anyway, we'll uh, remove them out of here and uh, reposition the snare somewhere, and maybe we'll catch another one here. Hey everyone, uh, just back at the same bait site and uh, that coyote did have uh, a little patch of mites but this is the third snare in and I think this one looks ugly too I don't know Yeah, this one looks really ugly. 
Maar dat doen we een, uh, diezelfde te wel, dat is, uh, this one's got a big, big, big chunk of fur missing, so. But one more setup there, so I guess, uh, took this one out of his uh, misery, I guess. And, uh, yeah, that's the way it goes. But, uh, shoulder mites, man, they, they drive you crazy, but put just as much work in for catching the good ones as you do for the ugly ones, so. Oh well, that's the way it goes. All right, so we'll check that other snare and uh, continue on. Well, these deer are uh, quite away from me, but looks like there's two bucks. That one right there looks pretty nice and high, and there was another buck. I'm not sure where he went. Oh, there he is. This one's kind of a little wider, but lower, but I guess they're friends now, so. That's a decent looking buck. Well, actually, might be another small buck with him too, but Got this camera zoomed right, maxed out here, so. Oh, there's. Yeah, so. You're digging for something there, so. All right, on. I just thought I'd show you that. 